So my name is Hannah Broca and my speech is on the Beatles. Many of you have heard of the Beatles and if you haven't, you're about to. <laughs> um, the Beatles were very popular in the 1960s and the 1970s and they originated in Liverpool, England in the late 1950s. It all started when John Lennon bought a guitar in 1957 and he started a band called Quarry Men. Um, Quarry Men, the band members varied for a few years and in 1959 the Beatles were born. And the band members are John Lennon, Paul McCartney, uh, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. Um, they could very well be the most popular and influential uh, rock band of all time due, uh, sorry, um, due to their popularity in albums, their crazed fans, and their different genres including pop rock, psychedelic rock, um, experimental elements, and even classical ballads and do their controversial issues. Uh, before the Beatles got really famous, they played a lot of clubs in England, and they played at the famous Cavern Club. In 1961, John Lennon and Paul McCartney began to write songs together, so they could stop doing cover songs at all the clubs. And this led to them wanting to get a record deal. So in January of 1962, they auditioned at Decca Records, and they were rejected because uh, guitarist others were going out of style. However, in May of 1962, Parlophone Records signed them, and then by November, they released their first single, and it was a UK Top 20 hit, and that was Love Me Do. Because of the popularity of that song, they appeared over 50 times between 1962 and 1964 on BBC. Their first album was Please 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 Me, and it was released in March of 63, and it stayed at number one for 30 weeks straight in England. Um, by the end of 63, they released their second album called With the Beatles, and both albums combined, they sold over 3 million in one year. Um, January of 64, the US eventually caught wind of the Beatles, and Capitol Records signed them and released a mixed album of their first two songs, or for songs from the first two albums. And from the growing population, or popularity of that, in, in February of 1964, they appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show, and over 70 million people uh, viewed the show. So not only were they a huge sensation in England, but now they're huge in America as well. Their first CD was very pop rocky, and due to its success and popularity, they wanted to branch out a bit. So in branching out, they did a classical ballad of Yesterday, and it was on the um, US album Yesterday and Today, and that was released in the summer of 1966. In wanting to branch out, they had an unusual cover for their album, and they were surrounded by neat and dismembered baby dolls. Sounds a little bit like Lady Gaga, if you ask me. Um, but before they had an unusual cover, um, Capitol Records got a little, little bored, lost interest in them. So the United Arts label, yeah, United Arts label encouraged them to do a few films, including A Hard Day's Night, and the, and the film Help. And they did an original soundtrack to it. John Lennon sang and wrote most of the songs. And it was a, a spoof of the James Bond movies, so it's pretty cool. Um, but back to the cover, it caused a lot of controversy, and they eventually did an interview, and John Lennon had said that they're more popular than Jesus. So immediately that caused an uproar, and CDs were pulled from shelves, and radio stations wouldn't play them anymore, and there were protesters outside their shows. Um, after the comment, they're uh, hugely influenced in Eastern religion and an Indian guru and that led to their psychedelic drug use with LSD. Effects from the drugs can be seen in their album, Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club album, with experimental music elements and studio effects. Um, because of their drug use, their manager overdosed in 1967, and after that, a lot of turmoil had hit the band. There were a lot of arguments and disagreements on money and music, and they all started to focus on their personal lives, some of them got married and so on. But in 1970, Let It Be was released, and Paul McCartney had sued the producer of the album because he was upset that um, the producer wanted him to postpone his solo career. But before long, Paul McCartney um, embarked on his own solo career as well as John Lennon with his wife Yoko Ono. They never became one again because of musical differences and solo careers and Lennon was shot in 1980 and George Harrison died of lung cancer in um, 2001. Altogether, they had 13 original albums. Although they didn't stay together to continue their success and popularity, they changed rock and roll forever. 
um, by their different music genres and films and popularity and their crazy girlfriends and definitely some controversial issues. To this day, their legacy still lives on and thousands of records are sold each year.